everyone! Today we are going to answer backend questions which can be really, really useful in your future backend developer career. So, let's start from the question about... And before we will start, remember to subscribe our channel with the red button below this video and to turn on the notification so you know for sure about the next questions and to give us thumbs up and leave a comment. Let's talk about NGINX. NGINX was designed as an open source web server but right now is also the reverse proxy, load balancer and HTTP cache. It was designed to increase the performance and stability of the web servers. To make it easy and understandable, let me explain what is a web server. So imagine the situation that you open your browser and you put there, for example, www.google.com. The browser sends the request to the server and the server is searching for the requested data that you asked for, I mean browser asked for, and then it sends it back to the browser. So you can see the Google website. It is a very simple example of the request and more, most often they are a little bit more complicated, but it will be easy to understand on this example. Let's take a look at the image in front of me. The process I described you above is a single thread. And usually the web server creates a thread for every request. But in NGINX it's a little bit different. And let me explain. NGINX uh, manages a similar thread as a one worker process. And each process worker have similar units called worker connections. These worker connections deliver the request to the worker process and then the worker process passes the request to a master process. Then the request is returned to the browser. Nginx, thanks to this way of working, can make thousands of requests in a more fast way. That's why it's a better solution right now. Thanks for watching! Bye!